$600 for that and $2,500 for that. You don't want to make a $2,000 mistake, that's for sure. Holy cow, I spent $500 at the register. I can't believe it. How did I do that? Well, I tell you what, don't come in with a shopping cart. $1.98 a pound, let's slap that butt. $1.98 a pound. You get eight pounds for $16. They don't look bad. They don't look bad at all. I like that. Not bad. That's a nice looking butt right there. Well, this is Saturday and uh, afternoon and today I'm at uh, Sam's Club and I'm going to show you 10 secret money traps to avoid when shopping at uh, bulk food stores like this one here. You don't want to get screwed. I'm going to show you how to not get screwed. So anyways, let's head in. Let's check some prices. Let's not get screwed. Let's have some fun. I'll tell you the number one money trap just to start out. They're not really in any order, but since I'm walking in, I'll tell you the, the first one that I think is, so you can avoid walking into Sam's or Costco, is don't buy a membership for $60 to $100, $120 actually for the premium, if you're only going to go there two or three times a year. Or, you know, if there's only one or two people in your family, you're not going to really save that much money. Even Publix with the BOGOs, buy one, get one free, and win Dixie, sometimes they're a better deal. I made a list. Anyways, <laughs> that's the number one. Number two is, I'll show you right up here. Oh yeah, the num number two one is, number three is up here. Number two is don't go shopping when you're hungry. I make that mistake all the time. If you go to a bulk food store and you pick up one of the big baskets, you're gonna be filling that thing up with food like crazy. And uh, that's a big mistake. <laughs> if you go there when you're hungry, you're gonna be buying all kinds of crap that you don't really need. And then when you get home after you've had something to eat, you say, why the hell did I spend so much money? <laughs> and you can easily rack up two, three hundred dollars in a store. You don't even cover the bottom of your basket. So uh, I'll show you number three, it's coming right up. Now here's number three, we're looking at it right here, giant shopping carts. I call these the $500 carts because you can easily put $500 worth of food on these carts. Uh, people buy, they buy more, when you buy a cart this, or when you have a cart this size, what you do is it looks empty and you keep piling crap on it. And people say, you know what, let's just stock up. And before you know what I'm telling you, you could put $500 worth of food on here, if not $1,000 worth of food. Now people that have food trucks and that, they're okay, but let's say a family comes in here and they're just filling this thing up. It looks like it's empty. Before you know it, it's piled four feet high and you're at five, six hundred dollars. That's one money trap. Avoid using these darn things. And number four would be right here. This is a, this is my list of the top uh, ten money traps. But anyways, heading into a bulk store without a shopping list. I mean, without direction, you're more prone to impulsive buy anything and crap that you don't need. And that's one thing you want to have is a list and just stick to it. And I'm going to do number five here and number six. And uh, number five is stay focused on what you need and not what you want. So you have to be careful of that. If you go in, go in with a shopping cart, you want to limit how much you want to buy and how much you're going to spend. And number six is the shiny new big screen TVs at the front of the store. <laughs> Don't be tempted to buy it just because it says $500 off or that instant savings there for $15.79. No way. They mark up all these TVs, they're made for clubs. They're not made for the Best Buy, and we buy from Best Buy, and we use the Best Buy credit card with, um, uh, you get 18 months free financing, and I really like those. And we're gonna go around and look at some of these other TVs. There's one for $26.79. They don't have the HDMI hookups, and they've got a crap load of these things. And you have to set these up yourself. Now, there's one for $7.97. That seems a little pricey, but it's $300 off instant savings. And you can get suckered into these, and they, don't, they just don't have all the hookups on the back as the Best Buy uh, TVs. And you're not going to have anybody like you would at Best Buy tell you which one's better and which one's not. You have one here that's $16.97, and you have one the same size. That's oh, that's a $75. That's a $75. That's $1,700, and that one's $599. So you can really get suckered into this stuff, $599. And then you look at this one, LG 77 Premium, $2,500. Holy smolies. Oh, it's an OLED, that's why. Then you have Ultra High Def, and then you have the QLEDs. So you have to understand what you're buying. And the people at Best Buy can really help you with that, where at Sam's Club, you're on your own, and you can get screwed between $600 for that and $2,500 for that. You don't want to make a $2,000 mistake, that's for sure. Now here's one of the other money traps right here. All this expensive furniture, $9.99 for this. That doesn't look as awfully bad, but you have to put it together. But when you look at this four-piece set right here, that's that's $1,900, that's two grand. 
and look at this one for $29.99. They try to push all this crap on you. $3,000 for this. That's just crazy. And here's something for $2,000. It's just a table with these plastic cheap chairs and all this crap is probably made in China. And here's another one for $1,900 and another gazebo right here for $1,500. Buying all this crap is really expensive and, it's, and all this crap is made in China. Look at this, $24.99 for this right here, $32.99 for this. And this swing right here, how long do you think that's gonna last? $500, look at that, really cheesy and you have to put this crap together yourself. These are, these are big traps right here, in my opinion. $2,500 for that, that's just absolutely insane. And let's check out the price on this crap. $26.99, four pieces right here. That's unbelievable. Who would ever buy this? <laughs> Put in the comments anybody that's ever bought this stuff. Here's one for $32.99. $32 that's absolutely insane. Steel chair for $50, and this looks like a small chair. Look at my hand. That's made for a small person. What are these, kids' chairs? $89 for the table and $50 for the chair. So almost $200 for a set of these dang things. And I bet you they, I bet you any money they come from China. I bet you anything. It says, there it is, made in China. All Chinese for that. And, and I just hate buying anything made in China anymore. I try to avoid it as much as possible. It's all crap that comes from there. Now here's a good deal right here on Frosted Flakes. It's $2 off. This is this is $5.88. And um, I think that's a really good deal. And a lot of people want to hear me say they're great. Yep, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, $5.88. That's a fantastic price. And here's some of the, I've never tried these, the Oat Crunch. This looks really good, but look at the price. It jumps from, from $5.88 for the Frosted Flakes to $8.48. Cereal's not cheap. Toasted Oat Crunch right here. Lucky Charms, magically delicious. I love the little marshmallows in them. $6.22. You get two of the bigger boxes. I like that right there. I saw where they did it. One time they sold the little marshmallows on the side here. I don't see them anymore. <laughs> and I used to pick them out when I was a kid. I loved that. My mom would say, you're finishing the cereal. I don't care if there's no marshmallows in it. <laughs> Fruit Loops, $8.58. Very expensive. Fruity Pebbles, regular price, $6.48. Captain Crunch, $5.92. Cocoa Pebbles, oh, these are really good. They, they turn your milk all chocolatey. I love that stuff. Keto Cereal, this has always been expensive, $12.98. Uh, real, uh, eat real food is what it says. And um, $5.48 for the multigrain, $5.48 for that. So this is a deal right here. This is on sale, holy smolies, that's a good deal. And then the Cheerios here. This, I don't know why they're the honey nut O's are so expensive. $8.22, but look at this. Oh, look at this price. Four, four eighty-eight for that. That's a deal. What a bargain. I love finding bargains like this. Look how much you get there. Two boxes right there. Two pounds. This is two and a half pounds of cereal for under five dollars. That's one heck of a bargain. I like it. I like finding bargains. Honey bunches of oats, $7.68. Frosted mini wheats, a little pricey, but still, it's under eight bucks. And in the same box, this is nine nine ninety eight at uh, Costco, so you save a buck here. And raisin, crunchy raisin bran, uh, seven dollars and thirty two cents. Cereal is expensive, but this is one thing you can you can save on if you come to these bulk stores. And and this is one heck of a bargain. But the other thing that you want to avoid the trap is when you see stuff like this on sale. You want to check for these expiration dates on here. And this one here says February 5th, 2025. So this one's good. That's what I look for like this. Anytime I see something on sale, I get, I get a little bit leery. But I check the date. See, 5 February 2025 right there. So th this is good. You could actually store that for, for what, a year and a half? Uh, no, a year. And, and it's still going to be good. So what a bargain. Just put it in the pantry. Let's check some oil prices here. Uh, Eleven ninety-eight. You get the two pack of the three quart, and there was only eighty cents off. But it's it's eleven ninety-eight for that. And the canola oil, which I, I really don't like, it just makes my food taste crappy. Once you get used to, well, you can see the the Pam spray seven forty-eight coconut oil eight ninety-eight for that. And here's some olive oil. This is avocado. We buy this all the time nine ninety-four, and I saw this for twenty-one ninety something for a size twice this big 
at Costco. So here it's cheaper. See, if you bought two of these, it's under 20 bucks, but it's 21, I think it's 21.96 at Costco. So that's why we buy this. And, and that's a better bargain there. It's a high heat point. And here's really good Lucina extra virgin olive oil, 16.76. And this is really fruity. It tastes really good. This is first cold press, 20, 25 and a half ounces, extra virgin olive oil, premium select. This is fantastic. This would be $30 at Publix. I do see a bargain here and it's snow crabs. And <laughs> I'm glad my wife isn't with me. And um, $19.98, you get two pounds of them. And these are snow crab legs. And I really do like snow crab legs, wild caught right here. And um, oh my gosh, snow crab legs and claws, two pounds, $19.98. That's one heck of a deal. But you know they've been frozen for a long time. What is it, lobster tails, $27 a pound. And so here's, here you get three of them for $25. These are just the Florida lobster tails right here. But still, I'm not gonna pay the price for that. And even though you get two pounds of this, by the time you get the meat out of there, you're lucky to get five or six ounces, maybe. I've never weighed it before, but here's some wild caught flounder. And I bought a lot of this before. $15.98. It says Pacific Flounder and skinless, boneless, individually wrapped. And they are vacuum sealed, but I want to find out where they're from, the country of origin. Let's just take a look at it right here. And it's caught by a trawler, and it's a product of China. See that? It says product of China right by my thumb, right there. Product of China. So if anybody wants to buy flounder, that it's a product of China. And uh, go ahead, it's $15.98, roll the dice. Here's some sweet potato fries, and I do like sweet potato fries. I'm a, I really like french fries, but I bake them now. $8.98, and you get a 64 ounce bag, which is only four pounds. I hate to spend so much money on stuff. $9 for that, I wouldn't mind trying them, but with fries like this, I can't take them in my lunch, because you know how they, they get limp? Unless you eat them right out of the, uh, Right out of the oven, other than that, they, they just, uh, they don't turn well to reheat. And here's some waffle fries, and I bought these before, and four pounds of these. These are kind of like the Chick-fil-A fries. I love these guys. $6.98 though, 100% real potatoes. But I don't know whether I should get a bag or not. I really, I really like these guys, and they work great in the air fryer. $6.98, you know what? I'm, I'm tempted, I, I, got, I gotta get a bag. These are really good Southern style waffle fries, like I said, there, there's my list. They're they're just like uh, they're just like the ones at Chick Fil A. Put them in the air fryer with salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. They're fantastic. And they have Snickers ice cream bars on sale. Eleven twenty eight, a dollar fifty off regular. Twelve seventy eight. Look how many they have. Holy smolies! Look at these guys. Don't make a rookie mistake is what it says. Twenty four of these things. They're two ounce bars. Oh my gosh, that looks good. I really love Snickers. I shouldn't be buying crap like this, and there's the drumsticks. And how much are the drumsticks of the sale prices? Oh, there's a drumstick. $10, $10.88 for the guys. And these are, come on, what a seal on there. Look at look at how these are open. See that? They come individually wrapped. 4.6 ounces each. I'm going to put it back. <laughs> Anyways, I love these, and I'd love to try those Snickers. But but these, these are a winner right here, and only $10.88. You can't go wrong with that. They still have the DiGiorno's on sale right here. You get three of them for $12.98, three bucks off. It's a value pack, and these are thick boxes. Look at the guys. They're monsters, the monster boxes. And some of these, someone said this was good. Italian wood-fired, and um, $9.98, and you get three of them. Look at that right there. Holy cow, three 15-ounce pizzas. So that's, that's almost three pounds of pizza for $10. The Red Barons are on sale. For ten forty-eight, a buck fifty off, and a lot of people like the Red Baron, and even Jack's original thin pizza nine eighty-eight. I like the sea sale items, and the the twelve of the little Red Baron deep dish, twelve dollars, three dollars off. I like seeing three dollars off instead of fifty cents. I really need to buy Ziploc quart freezer bags, and it, look at what the price sixteen seventy-eight. And I really like the ones that have the zip closure tie. These are hard to close but $17 for the damn things. And uh, look at the paper plates, $20 for just paper plates. Holy cow, it says Ultra. <laughs> the only, look, you get 204 plates for 20 bucks. The only thing Ultra is the price. That's ridiculous. I have to find some uh, Ziploc grip and seal 
grip and seal technology. It just doesn't work as good as you think. 1778, those are one gallons and the quarts are 17. Ridiculous. Let me see if I can find something here. I don't see those seal kind anymore. There's the gallon for $18.98. You get, look at, you get, um, you get 200 of them, but $19. And here's the little, here's the slider bags. But they're here at quart and gallon. I just want the quart 1678. And here's the quart storage bags. Grip and seal technology. I want the sliders 1568. And sandwich bags, which are just the cheap little things. 508 of them, 14 bucks. I'm going to have to make a decision, but whatever it is, it's not going to be cheap. And I need to get a case of water, and you can see the price of this water right here. Six gallons of Zephyr Hills water, 918. In this pack right here, this is seven dollars and ninety-eight cents. That's eight bucks. These are eight dollars. These are these are almost eight dollars. Seven seventy-eight for that package. Spring water. My gosh, these little minis right here, eight dollars for that. And here's something for purified water. My gosh, it's just purified tap water, and it's eight dollars and ninety-eight cents. Here's Zephyr Hills water, six fifty-four, six fifty-four. Unbelievable Aquafina is 568 and my wife really likes which I don't see her water here so um, I don't know what I'm gonna buy <laughs> 498 whatever it was purified bottled water there isn't any and it's all sold out but you can see the price of water nothing's cheap anymore this is one of my wife's favorite drinks right here believe it or not but this coke right here it comes in a 24 pack 12 ounce bottles 34.88 if you try to buy this at a store usually it's two to three dollars for one of these bottles and look at the carbonated water sugar caramel color phosphoric acid natural flavors and caffeine it's not the high fructose corn syrup it says sugar right there and that's really good but 35 dollars for this thing i mean that is really delicious and and they used to have sugar and coke not anymore uh, in america they put in the high fructose corn syrup but the stuff that's imported from mexico actually is really good 34 48 and you have to buy it in the bottle it's expensive but you know when you buy it like this it's cheaper than buying it singly for two to three dollars anywhere else everybody likes when i check the steaks right here and i can see the beef ribeyes are 13 48 and here's a beef tenderloin 133 bucks 133 this one's 134 holy cow and the um the um, beef ribeye cowboy steak is $13.98 a pound. This one steak's $36.35. Oh my gosh. What are these Angus beef tenderloins? $19.98 a pound. This package is $40. And what are the ribeyes? Oh, these are the, um, what are these? $10.48 for the New York strips. They were $9.98, so they went up 50 cents. They do look good, but they're not as flavorful as the ribeyes. Now, here's some things I'm a little cautious of is, uh, buying anything that's marked down right here and, and you have to really look at the dates you can see some browning on it people say it's not bad but you could you, you could never tell angus beef it's really busy here thin sliced chuck steaks 16 618 a pound that looks really good 20 bucks I, I you know i haven't bought beef in a while it's a little pricey but that does look good and you can see the pork chops here that are a dollar 98 look at this they always they always have a great selection and a good price and if you you buy the better quality one it says the bone in which i like because of the flavor 16 62 for this 288 a pound really good and then you have your uh, pork loin chops that's sliced and what they are that's this right here and this is still a dollar 98 a pound 19 dollars for this and you get 10 pounds it's 9.89 pounds what a bargain they still have the baby back uh, uh, ribs, two pack, $2.98. And look at this, $17.88, and you get six pounds of it. That looks really good. If I had one of those pellet stoves, and I tell you what, put some seasoning on it and just let it smoke in that sucker, man, I tell you, here's the Boston butts, $1.98 a pound. Let's slap that butt. $1.98 a pound. You get eight pounds for $16. They don't look bad. They don't look bad at all. I like that. Not bad. <laughs> That's a nice looking butt right there. You have $2.48 for your uh, spare ribs right here. And, um, you know, they're going to have fat on them. That's just the way they are. $20 for this. It's, it's over eight pounds. So $2.48 for the uh, 
the ribs and for the butts, the nice looking butts, $1.98 a pound and for the baby backs, $2.98 a pound. All of these I think are a bargain. They still have the baby back uh, uh, ribs two pack, $2.98 and look at this, $17.88 and you get six pounds of it. That looks really good. If I had one of those pellet stoves and I tell you what, put some seasoning on it and just let it smoke in that sucker. Man, I tell you, here's the Boston butts, $1.98 a pound, let's slap that butt, $1.98 a pound. You get eight pounds for $16, they don't look bad. They don't look bad at all. I like that, not bad. That's a nice looking butt right there. You have $2.48 for your uh, spare ribs right here. And um, you know, they're gonna have fat on them, that's just the way they are. $20 for this, it's, it's over eight pounds. So $2.48 for the, uh, the ribs and for the butts, the nice looking butts, $1.98 a pound and for the baby backs, $2.98 a pound. All of these I think are a bargain. Anytime you see something that's marked down like this, that means that it's ready to expire $3 off a package like this skin on salmon filet, $25.55 right here. And well it says used by 3124, but $25, 998 a pound skin on. I can't even see it from the back. But you know, just one slab like that is really pricey. Here's the sockeye. 1098 a pound. It was $7.99 at Costco. This package is $31. So if you take $3 off, so that'd be what, $28? That still seems pricey. It just seems pricey. Here's one for $15, and you take that off the package. You're getting a better bargain there. $10.98 a pound. I, I like this, but what's the expiration date? Used by March 1st. So you still have some time, so you know you can freeze it. And that it says Gulf of Alaska Wild Caught. This is probably a good bargain. Three bucks off that, so you're gonna get that for uh twelve dollars and seventy cents. That's actually not bad. If I did my math right. <laughs> and uh, here's some Atlantic salmon, but see the wild sockeye, see the color difference? That's naturally colored, and this is the feed that they put in it to give it that color, because this is farmed from the country of Chile. $28 for that, $15 for that, but $3 off any one of those. Let's check out some of their uh, ahi steaks, and see when you see them marked down like this. Uh-oh, used by 226, what's today? You better buy this right away and, 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 and use it. Here's 227, this will be marked down tomorrow if they don't, if they don't sell any of this, and the mahi-mahi, this is $6.98 a pound, wild caught Peru, so it comes from South America, $15.50. I don't really care if a Mahi Mahi doesn't have the flavor of snapper, steelhead trout, this is all farm raised, $8.98 a pound, $26 for that. And a single filet right there is $20, bucks. that's $20. And tilapia, you know, all this crap is farm raised, and um, it probably doesn't come from here, Costa Rica. Could you imagine what kind of farms they have down there? Muddy ponds, I just don't like stuff like that. This cod is probably your better deal. And um, this is really white. It's $8.98 a pound right here, this cod. Wild caught, USA, really nice, $31. And you get three and a half pounds of that cod. Just beautiful, I really like it. And it is a great catch, but what's a great catch here? Members mark, what is this? New Zealand wild caught orange ruffy caught with a trawler 1098 oh I bet that would be good I haven't seen orange ruffy in a long time and uh, thirty dollars for this oh I tell you I really like seafood anything that says wild caught like that that's got to be good there it is on sale three dollars off a package holy smoly's that's a bargain there some of this shrimp looks really really good and um, it's previously frozen right here, and it's black tiger shrimp. It's farm raised, and it's farm raised in India. It looks really good. These are just jumbo guys, 10.98 a pound, but they're farm raised. And just look, just Google a a, a a pond or farm raised shrimp in India, and it's all muddy water, and um, it's just sad. And I, I'm not going to buy them. And then I see some other shrimp right here. I wonder if this is wild or not. Gulf Jumbo Shrimp right here. This might be 926 a pound. It looks really good. Wow. Now that looks good right there. United States, but it doesn't say farm raised. It just says Jumbo Gulf Shrimp. So I'd like to find out if they are, but they look good and they look like they're wild. See the difference? 
you have the farm raised right there. Then you have the golf jumbo, or the they're not jumbo, but it says it says jumbo, but <laughs> they they look like they're mediums to me. But nine twenty six a pound. I would buy this any day. But look at the date, February twenty um, fourth or twenty eighth. No, it's twenty eighth. It's because this is the year. Anyway, so you got to buy these right away. But stuff like this is this is already frozen. Is the 29th. This is not frozen whatsoever. This looks really good, but it's $24. Well, I feel pretty good here. I got out of here for $71.51 buying the cheese corn, the waffle fries, the bread, the uh, the Tyson, and the, uh, the berries, and the expensive carry gold, the water, and the Ziplocs. And I tell you what, it doesn't take much to make $71. Could you imagine it? I mean, it, if you just got it to the top, easily three, four hundred dollars and you just want to avoid that stuff, get what you need and get the hell out. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's show in the shopping hall. And uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the 10 money saving traps not to, you know, to avoid when you're shopping at these bulk stores and uh, looking for the dates and, and the TVs. A lot of people didn't know that. These TVs that are that are in Sam's Club and Costco, they're made for the stores. And you're not going to get the HDMI hookups and, and the certain things that, that they would have when you buy something from Best Buy. And you're going to have to set it up yourself. Now, the last TV we bought was a was a uh, Samsung 25 inch QLED and we bought it at Black Friday and we had Geek Squad set it up and they had a deal on it and they mounted it to the wall and did all that stuff. I think it was $100. Now that was a deal and it's the right TV. So if you want to buy something from uh, Sam's Club, you just have to be careful and you have to shop around. So I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see ya.